My dear students, a very good morning to you all. I, Asan Rashid, your teacher, welcome you to this social studies class for grade 6. In this seventh week of e learning program at Pakistan International School, Qatar, we are studying the fourth lesson, Measuring the Weather. And our today's topics are thermometer and barometer. Let's begin our class. My dear students, today, our study objectives are to learn the importance of measuring the temperature, to know the parts of a thermometer, to learn the working of a thermometer, to know the types of barometer, to learn the working of a barometer. Measuring the temperature is a crucial factor from detecting diseases to controlling the cooling or heating of a facility, from food preservation to food storage, and from studying the environment to predicting the weather. Today, we shall discuss the working of a maximum minimum thermometer. Maximum minimum thermometer was invented by James VI, an English scientist, in 1782. It is also called Six Thermometer after its inventor. A maximum minimum thermometer is used for weather purposes. It instantly shows the highest and lowest temperatures during the day. A maximum minimum thermometer comprises of a U-shaped glass tube, mercury, alcohol, and two metal indicators. This is the picture of a maximum minimum thermometer. In this picture, we can see all the components of a maximum minimum thermometer. We can also see where these components are placed in a maximum minimum thermometer. My dear students, here is how a maximum minimum thermometer works. With the change of temperature, the mercury moves up and down in both arms of the U-shaped tube. Two metal indicators float on top of mercury. With the rise in temperature, mercury rises in the hot arm and pushes the indicator above. At the same time, in the cold arm, the mercury falls, and so does the metal indicator. When the temperature falls, the mercury, in hot arm, declines, leaving the metal indicator at its place, showing the maximum temperature. At the same time, the mercury rises in the cold arm, leaving the metal indicator behind, showing the minimum temperature. Let us now discuss the barometer. A barometer is a weather instrument used to measure the pressure or weight of the air. It is probably the most important instrument in weather forecasting. There are two types of barometers, the aneroid barometer and the mercury barometer. Let us briefly study these types. As for the shape, the aneroid barometer looks like a clock. It is handy and can be carried from a place to another. An aneroid barometer shows the weight of the air on a dial. Let's see how does it work? Inside the case of an aneroid barometer, a thin airtight collapsible metal box is placed. This box does not have air, as most of the air is pumped out of it. When the air pressure changes, it pushes the sides of the box, in or out. A string is attached at the end of the box, that moves the dial with the, in or out, push of the metal box. This is the picture of an aneroid barometer. It shows different parts of the aneroid barometer. Let us now see the working of the mercury barometer. A mercury barometer consists of a glass tube, about a meter long, closed at one end, and filled with mercury, and a bowl of mercury. A mercury barometer is a fragile instrument. It cannot be moved easily. As for the working, the open end of the glass tube is placed in the mercury bowl. The weight of the air pushes the mercury in the tube up and down. With the more air pressure, mercury in the bowl is pressed down, and in return, the mercury in the tube moves up. When the air pressure falls, mercury in the bowl is not pressed, and in return, the mercury in the tube comes down. The average height of mercury in the tube is 760 millimeter. 
This is the picture of a mercury barometer. It shows, the glass tube, mercury, and the mercury bowl. The red, downward arrows, show the air pressure. My dear students, with this we conclude today's lesson. I hope it was beneficial for you, and you learned some new things. Feel free to consult your teachers to further clarify your concepts and questions. See you next time. Take care, Allah Hafiz.